I'm shaking it, John. I'm absolutely shaking it. All the trips we've done so far has just been such an amazing experience. I've actually been to X Games, been to Barcelona, been to Italy, been to Canada, been to Austin, and now I'm back here. I didn't know what to expect coming on this trip because it, it was my first opportunity to come to Scotland, and as soon as I landed and seen how lush and green it was, I knew it was going to be an awesome trip. There's just so much to do outside of riding here and so much culture. Do they have an English menu? <laughs> yeah, having Drew over here is crazy. It's one of those riders, like, you never think that they would come and ride your local skate park and then the next day they're just here. Yeah, maybe just a couple just to tack down so it's not wobbling. So the plan for today is... <laughs> Head up to these massive waterfalls, just have a bit of cliff jumping. It's roasting outside, so it'd be good to chill there during the day, and then when it cools down a bit later on, head back here and just have a good session. So we just arrived here at the Falls of Falk, and yeah, build a little launch pad and jump in. I just ripped the seat. Glasgow, Glasgow, Glasgow. What up? Holy shit. Oh, that's a good surprise. Holy shit, man. Thanks for inviting me out here. No Getting worries. Getting me out to Scotland. I don't even know. <laughs> I know, Jeez. that's what they're saying. Yeah, man, honestly, like, I can't believe it. <laughs> I'd seen Chris at a few contests here and there. I saw him ride at a contest over here, and I was really impressed, and then one of my friends was like, hey, you gotta check this edit out of this kid, Chris Kyle, and he showed me, and I was like, damn, like, this he's unreal, like, he's on fire right now. This, this is where everyone stays? This yeah. Is yeah, that's, this is really nice. I would have tidied it and stuff, but it's, <laughs> it's clean. I can't believe it. Just, I was just sitting outside in the bike in the car park. Just look over to my right, and there's Dennis Ederson just walking up the car park. Yeah, I cannot believe it. I was speaking to Jason this morning, and I knew there was someone coming, but I didn't know who. And then I said to him, if it was, if it was uh, Dennis, I'd just go insane. Like, I, can't, I can't believe it's him. Yeah, this is my second time in Scotland, and uh, the first time was we were on a tour with Haro Bike, so it was kind of brief. We were only here for a night or two. So getting to stay here for a whole week, so I'm really excited to actually check the town out and see what this place is all about. Getting asked to come ride with one of the best ramp riders around right now was, was pretty a uh, pretty awesome thing. Gonna head to Edinburgh Castle. I've never actually been myself, but I've always wanted to go. We get to take the boys there, show them about. Haggish, titties, real Scottish <laughs> meal right here. And nappies. And nappies. <laughs> no clue what any of those words mean, but. And I don't know, yeah, they look good. This is where Chris Kyle was born. 
right here in the castle. They have pretty good living, they have hammocks. No, I'd be down to live in there. You definitely would meet a lot of cool people just talking to someone right underneath you. This so you're just gonna snap and just go right there and there. Look at Drew. Passing on the side of the road. And look at these people walking by. Unfortunately, I got to leave early. I fell and hurt my ribs again. I bruised them earlier in the year, and it just re-aggravated them, which was such a bummer, because I was like, this is going to be awesome. Like, me, Dennis, and Chris getting to shred together. Like, I've been looking forward to this, but I guess uh, we're going to have to wait. Today, we're just going to pedal around the city, show Dennis some spots, ride about, get some food. Better film this shit, Chris. So this is like a kind of legendary Glasgow spot. It's called the Gnarly Bowl. Even if it's not bowl, it's just... Uh, I really don't know why it's called that, to be honest, but it's just a you know, sketchy quarter pipe. Perfect quarter so, pipe. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> 180 whip. Hi, dude. Cheers, man. Thanks. It's just crazy to see his riding in person. Like, he's so good, he can do anything. And he's just not scared to go big. And he's also got like all the tech stuff on lock. So he is just a machine. Unit is an amazing park and I love ramps. And this place is just halls filled with ramps. And you know, that just goes on and on. And there's so much lines to be done. So I'm excited just to try and ride some new lines and try some new stuff out here with Chris and riding with him is I think gonna be really good for both of us kind of feeding off each other because we kind of like to ride similar stuff so it's gonna be good I can't wait to film with him. With the edit I'm just gonna shoot it like my sort of style with this level of rider and these riders it's just letting the riding do the talking and then making sure that I document it as you know in, as best as I can.
loaded up and just about to go camping. <laughs> all stocked up on tents like and all that shit, so it's gonna be cramped, but it'll be good. Two tents, one, two. I don't know, I never tried camping in Scotland. If I was at home, I don't think I would try camping right here. I don't know where we're at. We're in the middle of Scotland right now. Getting eaten alive by bugs, about to go camping. I leave for the airport in like four hours or something. I have no idea where we are. We just drove into the middle of nowhere, took a turn off, drove the car right into the woods, which I don't even know if it's going to come back out. And yeah, I kind of think it's a bad idea now, but we'll see. You kind of think it's a bad idea. <laughs> it's an amazing idea. Grab the corner and stretch it out. Actually, really simple. Oh, disassemble instructions. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay must have hands of steel <laughs> to be able to take stuff out the barbecue. Shit, there's actually the cops, lads. No joke. Shut up. Not even lying. I can see the flash. Yeah, it is. I don't really no, it is. I'm not joking. Oh, fuck. Oh, they are, bro. We're fucked. Back to the unit we go. <laughs> so just, just you, is it? It's just yeah, yeah, six of us. Six, yeah. I think some you packed here too. Went looking for quite a while, and then this is the only one we found. All right, guys, take off. Cheers. They didn't care. I told you, man. I think it's fine. We're being safe. I mean, we made a nice pit for this fire. You know what is the most important thing right now? My pork belly's nearly burned. <laughs> <laughs> no! Throw them off! You took my blanket, Sean! <laughs> Alright, go on. Oh. I'm leaving. <laughs> We're out of here. It's like 6.50 in the morning. Camped all night last night. I didn't really want it. None of us wanted to say goodbye. It was such a good week, so uh, we kind of really didn't say goodbye. We just said, see ya. See ya soon. I made some really good new friends and experienced some sick stuff out here. On all these trips, I've done so many amazing things. The things that we've seen, the people that I've met, it's just probably the best trips that I've ever been on. And I'm just absolutely honored to have done. So, like met all those people and rode with my favorite riders and I, it's gonna be definitely hard to top these trips from now on, you know. I definitely think I've taken a lot away from doing these episodes. Like riding with all these people, it's like, you're picking up little bits from each one. Like, Drew goes so big. It's like, I wish I could go that big, so. And I want to start riding like that, you know, just, I uh, will just not caring and just going high. And as I say, I'm gutted that it's came to an end, so I need to start planning something now. <laughs> On to the next thing. Shit's getting hot, actually.